Hallelujah. Greetings, people of God. I welcome you to part two of the continuing message about promises of God on eternal life and on salvation. From where we left last time, we were speaking about calling upon the name of the Lord bringing, brings salvation. That is Act of Apostles, chapter number 2, verse number 21. Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. People of God, don't be afraid to call upon the name of God. Don't be afraid to call upon the name of Jesus. Remember, the name of Jesus is lifted above all other names here on earth and also in heaven. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. People of God, when you are at the point whereby you feel that this is too much, whatever is happening to me is a emergency. Whatever is happening to me is something that I have no idea about how I'm going to come out of this situation. Remember to call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus. It has got power to redeem you and to set you free. If you read the Bible in the book of Psalms chapter number 51, verse number 5, verse number 7, verse number 9, and verse number 10. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Purge me with isop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Hide thy face from my sins, and brought out all my iniquities, creating me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit within me. Here in David, after realizing the multitude of his sins, remember, David was the man after the heart of God. And to some point, he committed sins of immorality. That is, Adotare with Uriah's wife. And after realizing that I'm walking with God and I have gone astray, astray, I need to come back to salvation. And David is telling the Lord, Please remove me this form of iniquity. I may have inherited it from my mother. Sometimes believers. There are some iniquities that you can inherit from your family background, from your ancestral background. That's why you need to go in prayer and pray before the Lord. Tell the Lord to forgive you the sins that are in your family line that may be holding you captive or pursuing you to do things that your ancestors found them to be pleasing, yet they were seen before the Lord. David is telling the Lord, Please, hide thy face from my sin. In simple, remove this burden of sin away from me. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. And the Lord, he is telling the Lord, Create in me a clean heart. It's such a powerful prayer for anybody that wants to walk with God. You need a clean heart. You need the right spirit within you. The right spirit within you. Sometimes you may think that deep inside you, you, are, you have the right thing. But it is not right. It is leading you towards the things of the world. Towards sin. Towards anger. Towards pressure. Pressures of this world. It is something that can be operating inside you. And that is the enemy. There are demons that come and compare us to do things that we never intended to do out of our own will. You need to pray and tell the Lord, whatever Satan is using to connect himself to my body, to my spirit, let it be disconnected. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. I want to be set free. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter number 1 verse number 18. Come now. Let us reason together. 
says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, which is red in color, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as white as a wool. The Lord is promising us that he is going to brought away to wash us from our iniquity that follow us day by day. I'm speaking to somebody. You are wondering the multitude of sins that I have committed, the way they are too much. How will they be taken away from me? How will I be a new creature again? The blood of Jesus has got power to wash you clean from red to white. There is a aim that we sing in the church. What can wash away my stain? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is thy fruit that makes me white as snow. No other font I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. It can wash away your stain. It can take away your pain as a result of the awful practices in the past. It doesn't matter if you have been a murderer, you have been a gangster, you have committed abortion, you have cheated, you have committed adultery. The Lord is willing to forgive you. It doesn't matter even if you are a witch, you are practicing witch, you are practicing Illuminati and sorcery, you can be forgiven. You can be redeemed. You can be saved. Jesus can set you free. You can be redeemed again. You are. Your sins can be removed. They can be taken away from you. The Lord wants you to come. He is calling you. Jesus is calling you, young man. Jesus is calling you, young lady. You are a woman you are watching. You are a man you are watching. You are a child you are watching. Jesus is calling you today. Come, let us reason together. I died on the cross to save you, says Jesus Christ. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. And you shall be free. You shall be free in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah chapter number 29 verse number 13. The Bible says, And you shall seek me and you'll find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. The Lord is promising us that when we seek for him with all our hearts, we are going to find him. We are going to to find the joy that we have been looking for, the peace of mind that we have been looking for, it is there when we decide and purpose to seek for God. There is a promise that we are going to find Him. Hallelujah. It is such a powerful promise that when you reach out to me, I will reach out to you. I will welcome you back. I will bless you back. Jesus wants to bless you. He wants to comfort you. Brethren, Jesus wants to console you. He wants to build a working relationship of salvation and eternity. Hallelujah. Maybe you are sick in your body. Maybe you have been divorced. Maybe you have been disappointed in your career, in your business, in your employment. Don't give up. Jesus is saying that when you reach out to me, I will reach out to you. When you seek for me, then you'll find me. It is never too late for you to seek for God. 
It is never too late for you to turn back to God. Isaiah chapter number 55 verse number 6 and 7. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And you have mercy upon him and to our God for your abundantly pardon. The Bible is telling us we should seek the Lord while the time, the timeline is still there. Remember, after the rapture, there will no longer be a time for salvation. When you are dead, you cannot reach out to God for salvation because you have already departed from the world. Time to live righteously is now. Time for you to seek for God is now. There are people that live a life of lie. You are lying to yourself that after death, somebody will pray for you to be born again or to receive that connection of salvation. It's a lie. You can only be saved when you are alive. When you have made a decision. Seek the Lord. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways. Remove that, that wicked way of life. Let the unrighteous man remove away his thoughts. Remember our thoughts, our mentality, our thinking can provoke us to sin. And the mercy of the Lord will pardon you. Galatians chapter number 2 verse number 20. When Apostle Paul wrote this verse of the Bible. He was teaching us about how valuable, how powerful is the salvation way of life in Christ Jesus. Here he says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I live now in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I have been crucified with Christ. I'm no longer the same old person that lives. The life that I live now in the flesh, I live for the sake of Jesus. Crucify your flesh so that you may have a new life in Christ Jesus. Crucify your desires for committing wicked wicked activities and you shall be at right with God. The Bible says in the book of Acts of Apostles chapter number 15 verse number 11 but we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we shall be saved through hearing the things of the grace when we hear the message of the Lord that is full of grace and salvation and we choose to eat it we choose to allow our mentality to change our art to change that message can change us and we can be saved john chapter number 10 verse number 4 john chapter number 10 verse number 9 i am the door by me if any man enter he shall be saved jesus is telling us that he is the door and in the book of Revelation, we find Jesus knocking at the door. Knocking at the door. Waiting for you to open that he may enter and save you. Behold, I'm standing at thy door, knocking. The Savior is there at the door knocking. He wants you to respond. Open your heart. Open your heart and be saved. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter number 6 verse number 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The wages of sin is death or eternal condemnation that is hell fire. But the gift of God it is eternal life. Choose wisely. 
Romans chapter number 5 verse number 8 and 9 but God commanded his love to us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath through him even if you are at the point of committing sin Jesus loves you and he wants you to stop that sin stop that fornication stop that sexual immorality stop that wicked way of life stop that drug abuse stop that drunkenness stop that adultery stop whatever you are doing that is fighting salvation deep inside you and the lord jesus will set you free people of god if you read the bible in the book of Revelation chapter number 22 verse number 14 Revelation chapter number 22 verse number 14 Blessed are they that do his commandment that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city in the name of Jesus Fewer May the Lord bless you May the Lord set you free And if you are not born again repeat this prayer after me Lord Jesus forgive me my sin Purify me today. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, viewer. And may the Lord do you.